Please welcome Ralph Howard and Lucas Meyer. Wow. Wow, you are an awesome audience. I hope I don't disappoint. <laughs> hey, I get to talk to you about the small. Unity has always been there with you, providing you with the tools to take your games to new platforms and new technologies. With each new device and platforms, we see a growing player base, an audience, a new opportunity for your games, be it on PC, be it on console, be it like those mobile games in that fantastic trailer that you just saw. But now we're seeing a new emerging platform, messaging apps. We're still in the early days of messaging apps as a platform. There's a lot of opportunity there. People can play with their friends in a seamless, social, and accessible way. But there are four challenges. For games and messaging apps to really take off, we need four things. First, you need excellent creation tools. Second, you need small deployments and quick load times for instant starts. Third, you need easy, simple integration across all messaging platforms. And last, while we all love making games, it's even better when you get paid for it, right? To help you target these new platforms, we build a new small runtime with a modular architecture and compression technology that allows you to deploy fast and, and light um, games. This technology enables you to build games for messaging apps in the Unity editor that you know with the assets already have, you have creating new types of projects with those short load times. For those short load times, you need small file sizes. So let's compare. The average streaming file on the internet, the music file on the internet, is 4 megabytes. The average web page you're looking at is about 2.4 megabytes. Unity's new core small runtime is 72 kilobytes. So that's enough for me talking right now. How about we take a sneak peek at how we create these experiences? And for that, with me is Lucas Meyer, my longtime friend and colleague. All right, let's do this. I have a Unity editor open here. Uh, it might look familiar, I hope, if you're here. <laughs> um, we have the pro hey, David. <laughs> I have the project window open here. Uh, my audio files. So these small projects, they use the same asset database and asset importer that you used to. I have the scene view that you also know. I can select my flappy guy here and hit F, and all these things kind of work. So there's a lot of things that look the same. But there's also a few things that are a bit different. For instance, on the right side, there's all these new components or different components. They look a little bit different. What's up with that? Now, these are specialized components for this small runtime. The modularity of this runtime means that this is a different set of components that use the same assets, the same sprite that you already have, with similar functionality to what you have before. All right, so a few more things that are different, like this bar over here. This is also new, right? What are, what are we looking at here? Well, first and foremost, this is still early, so, so it won't end up like that. But if we look at the modules pane, maybe. OK, uh, yeah. So here you see a set of modules that sit on top of that core runtime that allow you to be basically say what you're using and what you will be using. And this is super important if you want to be small. You get to actually opt in rather than getting everything piled on. OK, so I guess for Flappy, we have, what, do we, what is it? Like audio, HTML, physics, no particles, no text. No text in this one. We actually use sprite maps for that. All right. OK, so let's take a look at what it would look like if I hit play, which makes a build. And since we're targeting a messaging app, it actually makes a JavaScript build, HTML build. And I can go here and go whoop, whoop. Let's see if I'm any good at this. Almost. Ah. Oh. <laughs> uh, why they still let me do these demos is beyond me. I don't know. Me too. Um, <laughs> OK, so um, for games like this, what kind of a file sizes are we talking about? So if we go to the tab that says Build Report, 
And we can actually see, in this case, what a development build looks like in total size. But so that's like a meg, uncom so meg uncompressed and 240 compressed? Is that yeah, right? that 240 is what actually go, goes over the line to the player. Okay. That's the uh, total amount of size that goes over the, uh, the line before you can and play And I guess you can go here and see what's actually in there. So a bunch of audio, and I guess this is my modules, right? Uh, that's the runtime with all the modules for this game, including all the assets. OK, so 240K for this game. That's not so bad, right? Well, it can be better. So we'll have a look at the release build. OK. Now we're below 200K for a full game. Oh, that's not, not so bad. bad. Not bad. All right. Um, has anyone used this technology in the real world so far? Yeah, we've been testing with, a studio, uh, with uh, the studio Working Man, uh, who we gave early access to this new technology to show you what they've built. Uh, Lucas, how about you open up to your messages? All right, so um, since we're talking about messaging apps, um, I got a message here from my buddy Vlad. Um, where is it? Um, yeah, here. And I guess the first thing to notice is that uh, there's no install. Right? I just click it, and it opens in my browser. And the other thing to notice is how fast it loads, which is obviously only possible because of the, um, uh, because of the small runtime. Um, there's a boss here somewhere at the end, but I'm <laughs> After that flappy incident, I'm not sure if I'm going to embarrass myself any further. While you're trying to make it to the boss, how's the performance, Lucas? Um, so, on my, so I'm not sure what it's on the screen there, but here for me, it's about like this looks silky smooth. I guess this is just a solid 60 FPS. Uh, actually, I'm pretty happy to hear that and that it's running smooth. The technology is made to run from low end phones to high end phones as smooth as possible. Not only are we focusing heavily on the file size, we're focusing heavily on the performance. This can go anywhere. OK, so we've seen this technology being used for playable ads and now for messaging apps. Uh, what's next? Well, while most messaging games today are best delivered in 2D HTML, um, we're going far beyond that with native deployment and 3D. So with this small technology, we're thinking big. And, and if I can tell you about big, I'm thinking about IoT, watches, car dashboards, the AR glasses of the future. But we're your engine team, and we're there with you. So instead of me thinking where we could go, you should tell us where you want to go. Share with us your big ideas for this small runtime. Sign up there. Thank you.